Let's have a look at another 3D illustration, an artist's impression I put together for us of Joe from Art Alien TV's discovery. He calls these anomalies a Joe fruit. These are huge folks. They found in the northern polar regions of Mars and this site we'll have a look at is just south of Gemini Scopuli on Mars. I'll include the link to Joe's channel in the video description below. Please go check out his videos, folks. Subscribe there. Give a huge thumbs up to his videos. He's done awesome work over the years. He's been studying these strange anomalies for a couple of years now. Joe's also put together an awesome gigapan of these anomalies. We'll have a look at the gigapan towards the end of the video. I'll also include the link to this page in the description below. These anomalies were spotted in the high-rise photograph called Dunes, acquired on the 9th of July 2015 at a resolution of 63.2 centimeters per pixel. The anomalies I'll be showing you in this one are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just over 340 megabytes in size. He has a look at the low res black and white and we'll be zooming in on some of these rather strange anomalies. The site's located at roughly 76 degrees, 31 minutes north, 58 degrees 27 minutes east. So we'll be checking these out folks. Check out these strange sort of leaves or could these be flowers on the sides of these strange, they look almost like domes. Then we've got these strange darker spots at the opposite ends, almost like fruit that we find here on earth. So let's zoom in on those two right there. The symmetry and geometry of these things is just amazing guys check this out this doesn't look like typical sand dunes especially if you look at this over here it's got like a flower shape to it i haven't seen dunes do that before and it also looks as if these ends are hollowed out yeah we'll check out the one on the right and again, look at this perfect dome shape to it. Are these things partially embedded in the surface? They measure approximately 180, 200 meters plus in diameter. So they are extremely heavy. Hundreds, maybe thousands of tons each. So what are we looking at here, yeah, folks? Check out the dome shape to it again and this geometry of the lighter areas. They look almost like flowers or leaves. And again, there, check this out, folks. Another flower shape to this darker area of here. But let's zoom in on this one and take a closer look. These uh, lighter parts definitely come out of this rounded part. Check this out. And then the darker opposite end with what looks like a partial opening there. And then we'll zoom in on the two located to the left. And again we've got this flower shape this darker side and then the bright part on the opposite ends. He has a look at the illustration I put together for us guys. Check out the thorny bits. Have a look at Joe's video in which he zooms in on the spines or thorns clearly visible in the color photographs. Then the brighter parts 
I've uh, illustrated those as leaves. Could they be flowering fruits with the open ends, with the dark material that seems to be flowing out of those? And that's what they looked like in the original photograph. As I say, Joe's been investigating these for a couple of years now and he speculates that uh, these huge life forms may be plants, fruit or type of a vegetable with uh, possible antifreeze or alcohol liquid to prevent these from freezing, who knows folks? And then they also seem to propagate outwards in what looked like pods. We'll have a look at that in the gigapan as well. Right, let's zoom in on that site in the north polar regions. Let's zoom out a bit there. We've got Gemini Scopuli over there to the north. And these strange anomalies are located around this darker area right around the pole folks check that out if you get a chance it's more of them over here as well so yes joe's gigapan i'll include the link to this in the description let's zoom in on these anomalies check out the strange geometry and symmetry and the similarity between these facts. Joe's also included a scale indicator here to the bottom right. So let me know in the comments below guys, do you think these are simply sand dunes or are we looking at life forms? Check out the flower shape of here again. In my opinion, I don't think we're looking at dunes here. Right, so... As I say, Joe speculates these produce younglings in these long pods. Check how they're separating out. And some of these are up to a kilometer or two in length. Looks like these two are dividing as well. Look at the equal spacing between these objects as well. You could say these objects have their personal space. Much like we would distance ourselves in a crowd. Check there. It's amazing. I encourage you all to go over to Joe's channel, check out his videos, also subscribe to his channel if you haven't. We need lots of support folks, we don't get much support as it is. The shadow banning on YouTube is real. I got censored on Facebook about a year ago, so it's a rather difficult field to be in. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think these things might be. Are we looking at huge life forms like fruit or vegetables? We could even possibly hollow these out and colonize Mars living inside these strange anomalies. I don't know what to make of it guys but this is what I think we might be looking at. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate your viewership and support. 
Then to my new subscribers, just a quick thank you. Thanks for joining the channel. I hope you enjoy the work and research. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one real soon. Ciao for now.